everyone, welcome to Cactus Caffeine. My name is Anna. Today we are going to talk about the genus Echinopsis of the Cactaceae family. So these are my Echinopsis that are in bloom today. So Echinopsis, let's talk a little bit about them. So their characteristic is that they have very showy flowers. A lot of them have very large flowers although some have a little bit smaller flowers so this one is an echinopsis when i bought it it says rainbow burst but then so does this one so that the so does that one and that one they all have the same names echinopsis rainbow burst so i am not sure anymore if that is the uh right name of these echinopsis so i would rather call them by their color so i have pink peach colored echinopsis so one characteristic of echinopsis is like i said they have very attractive flowers they come in different colors so i in my collection i have a pink a peach a white this echinopsis subdenodata is a white i do have a pink and white i think that is a easter lily cactus I will flash a screen a uh, picture on the screen for you guys i also have this is a gold colored echinopsis and then i also have a yellow one this is an echinopsis leucomalia cub which has a yellow flower and some of them are new i haven't seen the flowers yet so that will be a surprise so Echinopsis, they usually have long stems on their flowers like this one. So that is one characteristic of an Echinopsis. Um, some of the flowers are night bloomers. Some open up in the morning like this ones. They, um, it's right now, it's I would say 3 in the afternoon and they are still open. But some are night bloomers like this echinopsis domino or echinopsis subdenudata this has a big white flower which opens up at night and then early in the morning it would extend up to probably before noon and then it will start closing that easter lily cactus definitely is a night bloomer because when that bloomed for me at around 9 or 10 in the morning they were already half closed and especially this one this is an echinopsis mirabilis so this one definitely blooms at night but the flower of this one is so fragrant okay now for the shape of the cactus body itself most of them are round like globular in shape but some are you know in time they can be columnar like this one they it, it started as a round one but in time it would start growing longer and then some are really columnar like that one the mirabilis i also have this one right here this is also an echinopsis i haven't seen the flower in this one but this is also an echinopsis and also if you are familiar with the san pedro cactus that is an echinopsis pacanoi so that one is a very tall columnar cactus but it is also an echinopsis i have one back here that is a cri-state that's a cri-state echinopsis though i have not seen the flower on that yet so this one is an Echinopsis camisereus or what is commonly known as the peanut cactus. It also falls under the um, genus Echinopsis. And uh, this one has a little bit smaller flowers. It is now closed. So, But I will show you a picture here on the screen when this was in flower. So this is also part of the Echinopsis genus. Now this one right here this is a this one this one is a echinobivia so it is a cross between an echinopsis and a lobivia so as you can see the flowers are a little bit smaller than the typical echinopsis right here 
These are Lobivias. So Lobivia used to be under a different genus in the Cactus family, but recently they also have been included under the genus Echinopsis. So Echinopsis is a very, very big genus right now. So it is very confusing with the way how they usually change the classification in cactus and the names of the cactus as well. So for the remaining part of my video, when I refer to the care tips on Echinopsis, I would only be referring to those Echinopsis that has been originally classified under Echinopsis or what we call the old school Echinopsis. So... I will not be covering these like the Lobivias or the Chemesereus when I refer to the care tips on Echinopsis. For the temperature, these guys can take a below freezing temperature for a short period of time. Although I overwinter most of them inside my greenhouse. In my greenhouse, I try to keep the temperature not lower than 35 degrees Fahrenheit. In the summer, our summer here is very hot. The hottest that it's been is 115 degrees Fahrenheit, but I do not expose this that much in sun. So morning sun is okay, but uh, if you're going to expose them all day, I would re recommend that you use a shade cloth on top of them. Otherwise, the body would burn, especially if you have an echinopsis like this that has no spines at all. So this is prone to burning. So I would recommend morning sun or have a shade cloth on top of it if you have it in full sun. In terms of soil, I don't exactly use a special soil for these guys. I just use my regular any cactus soil out of the bag that you know works for you is fine with me I don't even have to add any pumice onto the soil although some of them do because I have pumice with me but even before when I started um, in my very first few echinopsis I just used a regular cactus soil on them without pumice or any special ingredient added to my soil, they are perfectly fine. Watering. I do find Echinopsis a little more forgiving in terms of watering. So even if I give these guys a little more water, they are, at least from my experience, they're not very rot prone. In fact, I find them always thirsty so i do live in a desert guys in las vegas so our environment here it is very dry and arid so they get thirsty or they shrivel up fast so as you can see over there they do shrivel up fast so i do give my echinopsis a little more water than i do with my other type of cactus For the fertilizer, I use tomato fertilizer to encourage blooms on all of my cactus, especially Echinopsis because they are heavy bloomers. You would want to fertilize them to encourage more flowers. Now, I did make a video on how I use tomato, diluted tomato fertilizer. I will put a link on top of this screen so you can go ahead and watch that video. But I do use tomato fertilizer maybe two to three times during the spring, after which I switch to a re any regular fertilizer uh, designed for cactus and succulents during summer. Echinopsis is very easy to propagate because they do pop a lot. As you can see, many of my Echinopsis have so many babies. I have taken out a lot already from them and um, they easily root. The pops easily root. I have a tray here. So this came out of two echinops from two echinopsis cactus that i have so i just placed them in this tray watered them you know i just kept the soil a little moist until 
they rooted so these guys are now rooted very easy to propagate using pop you can also plant or propagate echinopsis through seeds so if you are fortunate to have seed pods forming on your echinopsis you can easily propagate them by germinating the seeds on the subject of pests so like most other cactus echinopsis can also be susceptible to the common pests that invade our cactus like um, midi bugs and spider mites so this echinopsis when this was given to me it had a few mealy bugs hitchhiking but i was able to treat it with a 50 50 solution of water and alcohol it has some um mealy bug damage but it was able to recover from it and now it is again producing a bud also if i may add one thing i noticed about echinopsis is they have the tendency sometimes to drop their buds now i am not sure if this is just something that is due to where i am located because here in las, las vegas nevada we do have temperatures that largely fluctuate like it could be cold one day and then the following day it can the temperature can go up by say 20 degrees fahrenheit so the sudden change in temperature causes a lot of my echinopsis to drop their buds this one i bought this last year from california and it was at the height of summer when i got it it already had a bud about that size as well and then when i brought it back when i brought it here to las vegas it did not continue to develop its flower and it eventually dropped so i think it went into a shock from you know the humid and more temperate um, temperature in california to the very hot and dry summer that we have here in the desert so just a precaution when your echinopsis is developing or forming buds and they do have the tendency to form a lot at the same time try to keep them where they're at keep their environment the same all throughout the time when they are developing their buds until the time they open up their flowers okay so i will conclude my video here now about echinopsis so if you are new to cactus i would recommend you to um, get an echinopsis they are rather easy to take care of compared to compared to the other types of cactus and when they flower you will be very very pleased with your flowers so if you like this video guys please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed and until my next video bye and cheers Bye.